In this video, we're gonna be using Strop Shop Russian Tea and the Gillette Sensor 2 for a dome shave. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB. Thanks so much for joining me for this video. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using Strop Shop Russian Tea, which sadly is no longer made, so I'm not gonna give you the ingredients and cost and all that. Magnificent scent on this. This is probably seven, eight years old, as you can see, still looking great. It still has a, a nice stout scent. It sort of reminds me of ju Juicy Fruit chewing gum, if it were a little spicy, if you know what that smells like. Really beautiful scent, and I'm sad that this is no longer available because it's really a great scent. I know Sterling tried to acquire the rights to this. They got Baker Street. They tried to get this one, but could not get it. And, and I wish somebody could make this scent um, because it is phenomenal. We're also going to be using the Gillette Sensor 2. I think some people call this the good news uh, razor. A viewer actually recommended it for head shaving. And one of the reasons is it doesn't have that goofy lubrication strip on there. So that should be good. We'll take that off. This is non-pivoting, I think. I don't think it pivots. No, it doesn't pivot. It's got two blades. We're going to try this for a dome shave today and see how it goes. By the way, I got uh, 36 of these for... Um, $23.91 on Amazon, which is 66 cents each. So depending on how long that lasts. And typically I get about a week out of a head shaving uh, blade. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes today. Let's start off by misting the dome. And this is just plain water, no special elixir in there. I am gonna use a little bit of uh, the cube. This is the PAA pre-shave cube and just throw a little pre-shave on there. It's not needed because we've got a good lather with the uh, Strop Shop Russian Tea. Despite the fact that it's old, still lathers just fine. And I think for me, it's always been a, um, my soaps generally hang around for years and years and years. I have some older than 10 years, I think. And uh, it's because I've taken care of them. Um, still around, still looking good. There's not a bunch of old badger hair in them or boar hair. And I like that. I like when I open my soap, it looks, looks good. No discoloration, not a bunch of lather or, you know, stuff in there. That's the way I prefer it. However, if you uh, like it otherwise, it's no problem with me. <laughs> you know, do it in a way that's enjoyable. I'm going to wipe my hands off here. Today we're using the PAA, uh, let me set that aside. We're using the PAA Atomic Rocket brush, our Captain's Choice bowl. Make sure we don't get any soap in our eyes. And here is the lather, which you can see is quite creamy. Again, this soap probably seven, eight years old. And it's got a lather that's comparable to soaps that are made today. So, you know, <laughs> the more things change, the more they stay the same. I guess this was a good soap in its time. And I, my guess is it's still a good soap now. I think they have made in incremental improvements to soaps over the years. But this one right here is still a very solid soap that if lathered properly with, you know, plenty of slickness. Um, and the key to slickness, is, of course, is hydration will yield a very nice lather. And again, I'll mention it before because I make my lathers off cam to save time. I'll put a tutorial for the way I make lather below and that works for me the majority of the time. So check that out if you please. So I know there are new folks who come along and they're interested to know how I do things and it's there for you. So take advantage of that and give it a shot, see if it works for you. As long as you enjoy making your lather, do it however you like. I'm, I'm not out to set a prescriptive sort of set of rules that you must follow. I just want you to enjoy yourself and get some great shaves and understand that you can take something which is seemingly mundane and repetitive as shaving and make it something that's a really great experience, especially when you're experiencing these tremendous scents. Got a little something going right there. I don't know what that is. Maybe an ingrown hair. I don't know, but anyway, we're not going to worry about that today because we're shaving the dome. And again, the lather on this is quite good. It's an old soap, still works just fine. Okay. Let's wet our razor here and see how we do with this. This was recommended, and I apologize. I don't recall who recommended this to me. And I'm not one of those people, again, that, as I like to mention in these videos, who poo-poo carts all the time. If you want to use a cart, use it entirely up to you. If it gives you a great result, then... Go with it. I am not going to stand in your way if you're enjoying yourself. 
And so far, I'm liking the way that feels. It's very light, very nimble. I don't know the longevity I'll get out of these blades. But again, they're about, based on what I paid, about 66 cents each. Disposable razors here. Now, some people won't like it because it's plastic. I understand that. That's no problem if, if you are not interested for that reason. That's entirely okay. Feels pretty good so far. No problem so far. And boy, this soap smells fantastic. I really, really enjoy this scent and I wish someone could make it and Strop Shop, I doubt they're watching anything like this anymore, but please sell those rights to Sterling so somebody can make this because uh, it's great. I don't think I've ever experienced a scent exactly like this. Um, it's, it's really good. And I wish that people could enjoy it. You know, it's no longer made, so I'm hopeful that at some point somebody will be able to make this or something that's, you know, similar to it. The Strop Shop doesn't show any sign of coming back. They've been gone for, you know, quite a few years now, and I, I haven't seen any indication that they're looking to come back, so I would love it if we could get this, uh, if more people could experience it. I have it, and you know, that's great for me, but it's not great for you. I would love for you to be able to enjoy this the way I do. Because uh, I get enjoyment when people try things that uh, I really enjoy, and they go, oh, I love that, thank you, you know, for that recommendation. I'm like, hey, that's great. You know, somebody's having a great shave, and again, turning something that's, you know, repetitive and mundane into something that's quite enjoyable and nice and fun. And for me, that's a win. And so this scent being, uh, to me, unique, I would love to see someone being able to produce this today. So far, I'm liking the razor. I don't know how effective it's, it's shaving yet, but I'm certainly liking the way it feels. Quite light, as you would expect. It's got two blades, so not, you know, not too many. Some people don't like the... You know, three, four, five blade options, and I can understand that. For some folks that uh, tugs at their hair, at least they get that sensation of tugging and they don't like it. Um, this one just has the two blades, no lubrication strip, which is excellent because we've got a good soap here. We don't need any help from a lubrication strip, and all they do is tend to get sticky uh, anyway. So for me, no need for that whatsoever. Don't forget, folks. If you're a head shaver, make sure to hit that neck there while you're at it. We don't want to look like a wolf man on the neck while our head is looking really good. All right, so far, I'm enjoying this razor. Again, very lightweight, which you're gonna expect for most disposable. Seems like it's cutting okay. Um, I'll know more when I finish my next pass how it's actually uh, cutting, but you know, I'm seeing stubble in there, so I think it's doing a reasonably decent job. And again, I'm uh, shooting this ray, this uh, video, excuse me, I'm not shooting the razor, <laughs> shooting the video well in advance, so it might be a week or two before this airs, so many things may have happened since then, and maybe I'm not touching on it, that's okay. Very nice, good residual slickness still on this very old soap. I'm feeling quite a bit of hair left over. Um, so we'll see in our next pass how efficient we got. I do know it's cutting, but it does not feel to me like it's cutting quite as nicely as um, some of the other razors that I used. Like I used the Planet Kind razor recently. It did pretty well, Harry's, so on and so forth. Uh, of course, I like to use the leaf. Occasionally we use the twig as well. Those all work great. Let's lather up again. Go for another pass and see how we do. Again, creamy lather there on this, you know, probably eight or more years old soap, or at least seven, I want to say. Somewhere thereabouts. I can't remember exactly. Had this for a long time. It's a marvelous scent, which is why I still have it. If it wasn't, I wouldn't, because <laughs> I don't have room to, to keep all that stuff for ages and ages and ages, unless I really like something. I don't keep it. But this one is one that's unique, and I would love to see it 
the scent produced again by another artisan because again, Drop Shop is not making it and there's a void, you know? And so hopefully someone will make something similar to it. There's been many, many tea soaps, you know, over the years. For me, my two favorite is this one, Russian tea and um, Earl Grey and Ginger from Reef Point, which also is no longer made. Ah, man, those are great. Really like them. And as you can see here, no, no problems with this soap, even after all these years. It's a decent sheen there to that lather, and I could hydrate it a little more, no big deal. Let's just hydrate it even a little bit more. It will handle it. And again, soaps were good back when this was made. They're good now. They've been good for a long time. Um, how, how much better they are now is, I guess, up for debate. The cost has certainly gone up, we know that, but... I mean, I think arguably you're getting a better product today, but these products served me well then, and they're, you know, it's serving me well today. You know, nice, nice lather, no bubbles, no troubles of any kind. So really for me, nothing to complain about. And this scent is fantastic. I love it. Absolutely love it. It is a wonderful scent. The only drawback on this one is it's just not made anymore. And that's a bummer because, uh, I think it's very good. All right, let's see if we can get some of this growth knocked down here on this with the grain sort of pass. I say with the grain, but you know, the hair on my head runs in all sorts of crazy directions, the stubble. And in some places it doesn't really grow at all, which is why I'm shaving the head to begin with. And I do enjoy doing these head shaves, and I've certainly enjoyed recording them. Again, we're, how many years have we been doing it now? Four? I don't know, somewhere thereabouts. I've had a lot of enjoyable shaves over those years, have definitely shaved the dome lots and lots in that time. And I just try a little bit of everything on the dome. Again, someone recommended this to me. It doesn't have the lubrication trip. And I think it would certainly make a good travel sort of razor, you know, probably work on your face pretty well too, if you don't mind the two blades. Some people do. Some people just cannot use multiple blades. They get that feeling of tugging and, and so on and so forth. And I would say, um, while it doesn't bother me, I do not deny the experience those people are having. In other words, I'm not going to step out there and go, oh no, it doesn't do that, you're nuts, because the experience people have is the experience they have. It might differ from yours, but that doesn't mean you can say, oh no, that didn't happen, because it did for them, it did. And so, for me, uh, allowing people to, to have and voice those experiences is an important part of the hobby, because not everybody loves everything, nor should they. And so it's entirely okay for people not to like certain things nor enjoy it. And so allow them to enjoy or not enjoy as long as they're being, you know, decent folks. It's okay with me. Very nice so far. I don't think this um, razor is quite as efficient because I am feeling some leftover stuff even there. You know, it's not quite as efficient. I think I would have to do more strokes to get absolutely clean with this razor than say the, um, Harry's or something like that, but it doesn't make it bad, you know. I am feeling a little bit more left over than I ordinarily would. But that could be also my, you know, I'm using a, a razor for the first time, maybe not nailing that angle. And keep in mind, this one doesn't pivot, so I've got to constantly be changing the angle of that razor to accommodate the curves and contours of my head. When you have a pivoting razor, all you have to do is sort of hold it in place, and the pivot will do all that um, adjustment for you. Makes it easier. Some people don't like that. It's okay if you don't. It's no problem. Let's uh, continue on here. And again, I would say this is probably a pretty decent um, head shaver. You know, 66 cents a piece. I don't know how many head shaves I would get out of this razor on a 
Harry's type blade, I would get a week at least. Um, on this one, I just simply do not know because this is my first time using it. But uh, if you got a week out of this, that would be really good. But I'm sure some people don't. You know, some of these light disposable razors, the blades don't hold up quite as long as uh, some of the other razors. So I don't know how many shaves you'll get out of this, but at 66 cents, it's certainly not cost prohibitive. If you get a few shaves out of it, you know, it wouldn't be too bad. Not bad. Certainly not as an affordable, uh, it's not as affordable as the leaf or something like that. Let's do some touching up here. I definitely feel more left over than I ordinarily would. But the main thing was just to try this out and see if we liked it. And I, I do like the way it shaves, although I would say for me, I still prefer, got a little there, the Harry's or something like that. I think the pivot does help a little bit, helps me. I don't need it because I can use razors without it, but it does help. I definitely feel a little left over there. So let's use some of this residual slickness and knock some of that down a little bit, just get a little bit closer. But overall, I'd say not bad. Um, I do like the fact this does not have a lubrication strip, which is big for me. But in terms of closeness, this is not as close as my Harry's or, or what have you, but it'll be close enough for today. But I still feel, I'm still feeling patches of hair despite, you know, going over it quite a bit. So I'm not gonna go over it endlessly to try to get it uh, baby butt smooth. So I, I'd say it's definitely a de decent shaver, it's cheap. But this razor, Harry's, or uh, definitely gets me closer than this one does. But of course this one pivots and it has more blades. So if you like uh, using a couple blades, this might be a winner for you. I would say not bad, wouldn't be my favorite though. Okay. Let me rinse the dome, excuse me. We'll come back, get into the bow, stay tuned. All right, and we are back with the magic made by Witches Thayers. And that was a nice head shape. I wouldn't say it's a level cue ball. It didn't get quite as close as I get with the Harry's or something else, but it was good. It got that hair down to the surface, but it wasn't baby butt smooth or a level cue ball, but it wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. And we did that using the Gillette sensor two without lubrication strip, which I really like. So I would say not bad. Uh, this of course was the magic made by which is Thayer's cucumber, which we enjoyed very much. The Strop Shop Russian tea, still excellent. Seven, eight years old, still awesome, still holds up in my opinion and works just as well as most of the soaps around today. So, you know, what are you gonna do? The old stuff still works great. I'm gonna finish it off today with Noble Otter Firefighter which doesn't smell anything like this, but it's a bold scent. The wife is away, so I can use something a little more stout. This was a gift to me from uh, Marianne the Barbarian. I absolutely love it. I hope all of you have a great day wherever you are. I hope you're having excellent shaves. I hope your health is good. I hope you have a wonderful day. And until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.